Hi book lovers, welcome back to my channel. I've got another big haul for you guys, another big book haul because I get a lot of books. This is for all the books that I got back in October, so there's a little bit over 50 I think, so quite a lot. I've also got a couple special editions that I'm excited to show you guys. But first, before I get into this haul, I do have a sponsor for today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Dossier. Dossier is a perfume brand that reproduces high-end luxury scents for a lot more affordable prices. Their scents are inspired by brands like Chanel, Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana, like really high-end stuff and they really do smell like those luxury brands but at a more affordable price. So they sent me one of their perfumes in this really cute little box. This is what the inside looks like and it comes with the card detailing what the scent is about. I got the Oriental Oak Moss scent which is inspired by Chanel, their Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum scent. As soon as I used it, when I sprayed it, I was like this is exactly what it smells like when you step into a Nordstrom. So from that I'm gonna say that it's pretty on point for that Chanel perfume and it just makes me feel so classy. A really great thing about Dossier is that they have a risk-free system. If you don't like one of their scents that you bought then you can return it for a full refund. If you're a fan of perfumes and scents be sure to check them out. You can use my code LACT10 for 10% off which you can add on top of their welcome offer that's 20% off so you can get up to 30% off your first order. Shipping is free with three or more bottles and they're always adding new scents to their catalog and they really love taking suggestions too from their customers. They make a really great gift for the holiday so be sure to check them out in the link in my description. Back to my book haul. Here's everything that I got back in October and I'm just gonna start with the book boxes that I got that I'm reps for. One that I had to get for myself was Hello Lovely's Halloween box, like their spooky creepy box, which came with not one but two exclusive editions of these two books which I absolutely love. This is the exclusive edition of A Lady of Rooksgrave Manor by Catherine Moon and it's got the foiling in the title if you couldn't tell. This was amazing. It's like a historical erotic reverse harem romance that I just love so much this year. And this is the exclusive cover of Morning Glory Milking Farm by C.M. Costa with this giant milk bottle which if you've read the book you know is perfect as the cover but I love it. I definitely love it a lot more than the um the original cover but it's another monster romance with a minotaur hero the box came with this perfect spooky tote it's a zip up tote it says buying books like i'm immortal it came with some popcorn that i guess i've been saving for this video and this cute little tote it says better red than dead i'm a rep for mystic box and their latest box the one for sierra simone finally came and look at these covers this is the exclusive hardcover for priest with this intense cover. This is obviously a priest forbidden romance and this is what the chapter header looks like, the priest right there. And this is the other hardcover, American Queen, which is the first book in this MMF trilogy. And this is what the gorgeous chapter header looks like. Also all the books in these boxes come with signed copies. My Bell book box came. It came with this card holder and this cute little pin. They have two featured authors unlike Mystic Box which has only one and the two featured authors from the last box were Jessica Hawkins and Emma Scott. These two I have not read yet. The Emma Scott book is Forever Right Now which is a new adult romance and Something in the Way by Jessica Hawkins is a forbidden age gap romance which I've heard really good things about and I love this cover so much. And the last box that I'm a rep for is the bookish box. Their September box was a witchy themed box and their featured book was Witch Please by Anne Aguar which I'm actually currently reading right now. It's this really cute paranormal rom-com with a bakery owner hero and a witch heroine. It came with these star moon earrings, a mug rug, and this really pretty little keychain, this face mask, and there's also an apron that I took out and can't really find right now, but I swear I do have it and it looks really, really cute. Those were all the boxes that I got last month, so let me just get started with all the other books that I got, starting with the ones that some publisher sent me. Berkeley sent me some of their new releases, which I am really excited about. This is well matched by Jen DeLuca which is part of her Well Met series and this couple I've been waiting for since book one. It's another Renaissance Fair themed romance.
romance. It started with A Dog by Julia London, which is a Christmas romance, and the main characters are rival coffee shop owners. The Sweetest Remedy by Jane Igaro, which is about a heroine who goes to Nigeria for her father's funeral and has a bit of a love triangle. One of them is a former love too. A Holly Jolly Diwali by Sonia Lali, which is a holiday romance celebrating Diwali, the festival of lights, which actually just happened a couple days ago. And Payback's a Wish by Lana Harper, which is an FF witch romance. I was sent these three Scarlet St. Clair books, her Hades and Persephone series. Book one is the only one that I've read so far, which is A Touch of Darkness, and I really like this one. Book two is A Touch of Ruin, and book three is A Touch of Malice. I'll be finishing up the series pretty soon because I recently just got the audios from my library. I waited so long for them. I got some romances from St. Martin's Press, a historical romance from Kate Bateman, A Reckless Match. This one is a Romeo and Juliet historical romance. The two main characters are from rival families. And these two Nora Roberts bind-ups, which are two books in one. True Horizons has all the possibilities and one man's art. And Graceful Hearts has reflections and dance of dreams. I got this finished copy of a historical romance that I have been so excited to read. This is The Brightest Star in Paris by Diana Biller. I'm not the biggest fan of this cover, but I did really enjoy Diana Biller's debut, which was The Widow of Rose House. That book is about this hero's brother, and I really like their family, so I'm excited. It's a second chance romance that takes place in Paris. And this paranormal rom-com, Not Your Average Hot Guy by Gwenda Bond, and the hero is literally the son of Satan. I was sent these two Addie Woolridge books, The Checklist and The Bounce Back. The Checklist has a type A heroine whose life is not going too well, and she falls for her neighbor's hot son. In The Bounce Back, the heroine wants to pursue a career in art, but that kind of goes up in flames and she's forced to get a nine to five job and she falls for one of her co-workers. The books also came with this mug and tea. The mug is a to-do checklist fall in love. I got quite a few books from Entangled. For some reason they sent me two of the same book. It's The Rogue King by Abigail Owen which is a paranormal romance. It's a dragon shifter romance and they also sent me another paranormal romance and this one is about a vampire motorcycle club. It's called Hunter's Hope by Alyssa Day. This one is The Hookup Dilemma by Constance Gillum which is about a hookup that turns into something more. And I also got a couple of YA books from them. These two are vampire YA romances. They're by Marlene Perez. Book one is The Afterlife of the Party. And book two is I'm with a Band. Unraveling Eleven by Jerry Chrisholm is a YA dystopian, which I really haven't seen in a while. I also got some romances from some other publishers. These two are Sulika Snyder books. They're the first two books in her Shifter Paranormal Romance series. There's Big Bad Lion and Pretty Little Lion. This one is a historical romance, Rules for Heiresses by Amelie Howard. It's a marriage of convenience between a new Duke and an heiress. I got this Harlequin holiday romance, Just for the Holidays by Adriana Herrera. Another Christmas romance, Mistletoe Christmas, but this one is an anthology, a historical romance anthology with Eloisa James, Christy Caldwell, Gianna McGregor, and Erica Ridley. These last two are historical romances too. They're from forever. A Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem by Amanda Collins. It sounds really cute. The heroine is a widow who writes articles about crimes happening in London, and she's always doing some investigations, and the hero is the one who's actually hired to do those investigations. The Perks of Loving a Wallflower by Erica Ridley is an FF historical romance. One of the heroines is part of a heist family. This is the sequel, the standalone sequel to The Duke Heist. I got another cowboy romance, The Wedding Crasher and the Cowboy by Robin Bielman, and I was also sent The Shoddy Setup by Lily Vale. This one is a second chance romance about former high school sweethearts who both joined this dating app that tells them them. They're the perfect match. This one is coming up pretty soon for me, so hopefully I enjoy it, and I just really love the dogs on the cover. Here are some used books that I bought for myself. Nothing too crazy. As you might know, I've been collecting Katherine Anderson, and this is the latest step back that I've found. It's Forever After, and this is what the step back looks like. I think this is a Western historical. It's got a single mom, a single mom heroine, and a sheriff hero. I've also been recently collecting some Megan McKinney books. Her historical romances 
of course this one is till dawn tames the night and this is what the step back looks like the heroine gets hired as a lady's companion so she sets sail for jamaica and then she gets kidnapped by a pirate this is the beautiful cover of my wicked enchantress by megan mckinney and this one has a scottish heiress and a mysterious rogue hero and this is when angels fall by megan mckinney with this beautiful step back and i love the sound of this one the hero was the heroine's former stable boy but after she lost everything he actually gained everything he became a marquis and he's now the most powerful man in london and he wants revenge against her and i also found these two beautiful beverly jenkins hardcovers i've been collecting them they're both historical romances of course this one is before the dawn and this one the heroine actually married the hero's father but now she's a widow i don't think there's an age gap or anything and the hero does not like her because he thinks she's nothing more than a gold digger and this beautiful copy of captured is beverly jenkins pirate romance and there's even like the full illustration on the back it is so so pretty i took a trip to a bookstore called lost books which was so so pretty if you live around the area if you live in california you definitely should go check it out but i bought two nalini singh books from them two side changeling books play of passion and bonds of justice i also got quite a few romances from some indie authors debney perry sent me her newest release with this absolutely beautiful cover it's indigo ridge it's a small town romantic suspense with a murderer i got the lost fisherman by julie ann which is a sequel to the naked fisherman both of them i really liked book five in the london prep series by jillian dodd the party erin mallon who is a fantastic romance audio narrator she sent me her book flirtosaurus the heroine is a paleontologist and the hero is an astronomer i got these two small town romantic suspenses from katherine cowles this is beneath the wreckage and beautifully broken redemption here is grumpy cowboy by max monroe which is of course a cowboy romance it's enemies to lovers between a city girl and a cowboy hero and this final book is the one that i bought for myself and this one actually is the second copy of Trist Six venom by penelope douglas that i have now this is actually the first copy that i bought that usps lost for two whole months penelope douglas was so nice and sent me you know another copy after i told her that i didn't get anything after a month but then this one showed up another month later i don't know what happened but now I have two of these. It's her FF New Little Romance that was so so good. And I do have some non-romances to share with you guys. These three are more like women's fiction. This one is a holiday book, Always in December by Emily Stone. The Bright Side of Disaster by Catherine Center. The Party Crasher by Sophie Kinsella, which has this really cute cover. The Damned and the Righteous, this Ark of the Righteous by Renee Audier, which are part of her Vampire YA series. I got this mystery book by Sherry Thomas, Miss Moriarty. I presume. It's part of her Lady Sherlock Holmes series, The Graduate by Naomi Novik, and these two Halloween books, this reprint of Dracula, and Cackle by Rachel Harrison. That was my haul for all the books that I got back in October. Lots of books. I barely have any room on my shelves for them, but let me know your thoughts if you've read any of them, if there's any that I need to get to really soon. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!